Hi, Ben. I just saw this big van here. It's got this massive battery in it. Can you give me a little bit of information about your company and what this is? Yeah, so Zevex is a battery manufacturer. We're based out of Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, what we've made here is a mobile charging unit mounted to a Sprinter van. And so we put 240 kilowatt hours of battery in the back um, with the ability to export DC fast charging out of up to two cables from the rear end of the vehicle. The purpose of it being we're seeing a big gap in infrastructure right now where a lot of clients don't own their properties and can't install charging, or the utility is giving them long lead times in order to break ground on a project. So that's halting adoption of them electrifying their fleets and personal vehicles. I think, I was just talking to somebody about this. Yep. Somebody needs to buy one of these things and they need to run around on holidays and weekend, you know, weekends where the chargers are backed up. I brought a lightning down here last weekend and I had to wait in line for like two hours at an Electrify America. Right. And like man, it, I'd pay the I'd pay the fifty bucks to like extra to charge one of these things right. instead of waiting in line. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, we don't want people to wait on buying an EV or slow anything down because charging is a concern. And so this is an additional option to bring charging where you can't typically get it right now. So you don't have to worry about that. So what, what, is, the, what is the cost on something like this? Really uh, it's, it's around $200,000, $300,000. It all depends okay. on how we configure so, it and what it's mounted in. Okay, so similar to the cost of just a, a, a non-mobile. DP, a DC, DC, yeah, fast, DC charger. fast charger. Yep. Now, is it powered by gas or is it also EV? So we did uh, retrofit this vehicle with our own battery pack, so it oh. is electrified. Oh, um, cool. You can call it a repower. Um, but as far as the system goes that are mounted in the back, we're pretty agnostic to what kind of vehicle it goes in. We just need to make sure it has the payload and the space to, to fit the system. So you said 240 kilowatts. Yep. So that's about double the size of most EV trucks. Right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, that's really cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Pleasure. Thank you.